How you doing everybody? This is kind of a painting I'm working on. I was thinking about doing a hi uh, Hawaiian hibiscus. Alright. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. I'm just doing my thing. I wanted to do a video about Bigfoot. I think I might have talked about it before. Maybe not. Cryptozoology. I'm in Oregon right now. And if you don't know what it's like in Oregon, I would simply say you go 10 miles inland from here and you're in complete wilderness. Washington State, Oregon, and pretty much Northern California on to the coast is just vast wilderness. Absolute fucking wilderness. I've, I've driven up, you know, logging roads where you just, you don't see souls for days. And this is, this is, you know, the Northwest. So when you think about creatures being able to live, I mean, and like I said, I did a lot of research in the past, not just watching videos of hairy creatures running through the woods and stuff. And another interesting video that I watched was two gentlemen, they were walking Mount Shasta, around Mount Shasta. And they came across some like weird corpse. It was all just, you know, decomposing and just some, you know, hair and stuff and bones. And they found a, a hand and the interesting thing about this hand is it was not only was it huge, but it looked kind of like an, an ape hand, like a gorilla's hand, except it had these claws that extended about two inches and they were round. So these were like round, almost like a spike. Each, each finger had a spike in it. And all I could think of is climbing for climbing. I mean, it was a really creepy hand. And later on, they got in trouble by the <clears throat> what was it, fishing game or some crap? Because they were like poaching. They tried to get him for poaching or crap. It was weird. Yeah, yeah, th that story got weird. But, um, mm -hmm. so anyway, so you hear the, see these claws. And I was thinking about another uh, talking show was on Coast to Coast. These two kids from Washington State were talking about how they drove off into the woods. And they saw these, they were sitting there parked at one point, And they, uh, they noticed that everything got really quiet. It was the middle of the day or whatever. And they didn't hear anything. It was like all the birds stopped chirping, that kind of thing. And they got really weirded out. And next thing you know, one of the brothers looks over and he sees this thing in the tree. And he's like, uh, do you see what I'm seeing? He's like, what, you mean that, that, you know, that, what do you call it? The, the gorilla in the tree or whatever, just a big hairy thing that was like basically hugging a tree. In the tree, it wasn't like on the ground, it was up in the freaking tree, right? And then next you know, they heard a growl and something crawl came up behind them, their vehicle. They had the windows rolled down. And they rolled up the windows. And this thing on the side, it was big, whatever it was, but it was on all fours. And it crawled along in front of the vehicle. And it growled. They heard it growling. And, it just, and they had guns. These two gentlemen had guns. And they're like, he's like, they took the guns out of the glove compartment. These are country boys, right? So they both had guns, but they were so freaked out they didn't even know if they were going to use them they were just holding them going they didn't want to piss this thing off right so this big gray th dark mat they said it was just dark and it came to the front of the vehicle it was growling and then all of a sudden they said another one that was up in the tree jumped down into the road and within two they said within two bleeps was gone so literally jumped down to the road jumped again and it was off into the fucking woods literally they said it leaped so these things not only have really good, you know, really big and strong and all that stuff. Apparently they can they can pounce. I mean, like they said it was like like a lemur kind of leaping, right? This is just testimony these guys are talking about. And I also talk about testimony first. Um, experts talking about it, zoologists and cryptozoologists and stuff like that talking about, you know, the Northwest and and how vast it is in Canada and all that stuff. And so the idea of these. Gigantopithecus or whatever, you know, actually existing is not, you know, beyond the realm of possibility. So I find that really fascinating. Um, personally, never experienced anything like that. I mean, except for, no, I can't see it. That That's what that was. You hear like howling and stuff. Um, I'm not even going to say that. But I have watched a lot of videos. There's a new one where a guy's in Oregon somewhere and he's a trucker and he's just on the, in this parking lot on the side of the road on the freeway <clears throat> and he's hearing this thing in the woods just screaming and it does not sound normal it does not sound good he was like this i shouldn't have stopped here right 
So do these things exist? I don't know. The, there are, the videos that I've seen are really creepy and trippy and there's always usually somebody in it just looks like a dark suit. Like a monkey suit or some shit. You know what I mean? Like in Trading Places, the guy in the that was like, yeah, yeah. Was it John, Was it Jim Belushi that was in the gorilla suit? Trading Places, a great movie. Uh, Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy. I love Eddie Murphy. He's awesome. Anyway, what else was I going to say? That's it. Bigfoot can exist. You never know. Never count it out. And yeah, keep, you know, enjoying your life. And this is an amazing world we live in. And I love you. God loves you. And the universe is obviously a place full of hairy creatures. Okay, bye.